In this video, let's start a blank slate so that we have a sheet to work off of no matter what program we are going to use. So we're going to create a blank sheet in which all we have to do is fill in the points or change the numbers. So let's go select and we're going to go new. So go create and then we're going to call options keyboard and we're going to call this blank welder and make sure that there's no space between so you can do an underscore which is perfectly acceptable so now we're going to go to new instruction miscellaneous remark and this is going to be our frame setup so we're going to go to our keyboard frame setup and no matter what, we're going to always have a tool frame and user frame, so we might as well add those instructions right away. Set frames, I always like to do the tool frame first. And let's leave this as a constant and one for this project. And then we're going to add the world frame because that's probably what we're going to use for the majority of our welds. We did use a user frame number two over here, but the majority of our welds we're going to use the world frame. So we're going to go add new instruction and we're going to go back here, offset frames, U frame, constant one. Okay, so those are going to be the ones we're going to utilize. Then I'm going to go ECDM, insert, how many lines? I'm going to do 10 for now. And I'm going to leave a blank space here because I always like to leave blank spaces between major headings. It doesn't affect the program at all. So the next one I'm going to set up is the variables. So I'm going to go new instruction, miscellaneous, remark, and I'm going to call this variables. And this will be any variables that we may add to our program. There may be none, so it just skips past here. So I'm going to go leave at least one blank heading here. Uh, we can insert later on for our spaces. So the next thing is going to be we want to start out in a some sort of home position to get make sure that our whip is in the correct direction. So I'm going to go new instruction, miscellaneous, and I'm going to go remark, and I'm going to go home position. And then our home position for most of mine are always going to be up front here. So I just add move point, a, the joint fine, and then we use my point registry or the position registry. So I go choice position registry number one, which is my home position. So now that I have my home position, I'm going to now switch it to the weld start. So I go new instruction, miscellaneous, remark, and I'm going to go weld start safe position and this is my position usually about 100 millimeters above the workpiece but that's all dependent then i'm going to have a single point and then here's going to be the space so the next thing is going to be my the actual weld start and then we have our position we we'll add some more lines here add another 10 so that's my space and then then here's going to be my weld end so i'm going to go miscellaneous remark space and then i'm going to have my weld end safe position weld end safe position and then I'm going to go to my home position. And then from there, I'm going to add my, if you need to have a unload, so that would be the tool safe position. So sometimes you need this, sometimes you don't, um, but I'm going to just add the line here just in case. So I'm going to go tool safe position exit okay so then I'm actually going to add that point registry so I have move point joint and that was point registry number two we set up in the previous videos so I want to go escape here and I want to go point registry number two so that's my safe position so now that we have all the headings, it makes things a little bit quicker to go in here and just add our different joints and different movements 
to each of the positions underneath these headings so that we don't have to continuously add heading and then add the point, add heading, add the point, then the next program, add heading points. Just saves a little bit of time and it keeps things nice and organized and all the programs the same. And that's the biggest thing, trying to keep organized and keep things so that they are the same so you can go from program to program to program and they're in the same exact format.